Well, how's it going, everybody? My name is Grovana, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. In the last episode, we started the quest, you gotta shoot them in the head, and that's exactly what we have to do. We have to shoot four people in the head for uh, Mr. Crowley, who is in Underworld. He's a ghoul, and there have been four people that have wronged him and have been prejudiced against ghouls, and he wants us to shoot him in the head. However, there's probably more to the story, as we saw in the last episode. Regardless, we've already... Uh, taken care of let's take a look here we've already taken care of Dukov we did not shoot him in the head we uh, persuaded him to give us his key because we also need to prove to Crowley that we've killed these people and he wanted something and it looks like we're gonna need keys from all these people so we've done that for Dukov we've done that for Ted Strayer we haven't killed either of those two and now we need to kill Dave and get his key and kill Alistar Tenpenny and get his key but I'm sure there's gonna be another way to do that so right now I don't know if you guys can tell by the elevator music, but we are in Tenpenny Towers with the ultimate goal of finding Alistair Tenpenny, the leader of this place. So we're going to take the elevator to the penthouse suites, and hopefully we'll be able to talk to him. He's the head honcho here, and uh, spoiler alert, he's a huge douchebag. So, okay, let's see. Mr. Tenpenny isn't taking callers. I love that voice. <laughs> that, that particular voice actor has like the deepest, most rugged voice ever. Okay, speech 100%. I'm here to see Tenpenny, but if you weren't so incompetent, you'd know that. Well, that's kind of odd that it's 100%, but okay. Hold on there a minute. Oh, all right, I'll let you in, but if Tenpenny hollers because he isn't expecting you, you're dead. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? So he's going to get up now and open that. And uh, yeah, so these are the suites of Tenpenny Towers. There's a lot of stuff to find in here, but uh, we're going to forego that for the time being, and let's go talk to Tenpenny, who should be right outside here. I think this leads to the outside, although it shouldn't, though, because we haven't actually seen Tenpenny's um, <clears throat> suite yet, so this is probably actually leading to the suite, and then we'll find a door that leads to outside, because he's usually outside perched way up high on uh, Tenpenny. Oh, wait, no, okay, this does lead to outside. Okay. Yeah, so that's, there's Tenpenny, and you can see that he has a nice view of um, the disgusting wasteland. So, somewhere in the distance is Megaton, and I'll go ahead and spoil this now. In fact, I think it's... I don't know if you can make it out, but I think it's that thing over there. Um, if you decide to blow up the bomb, Mr. Burke has you come over here, he gives you a detonator, and you can witness the uh, explosion of Megaton in the distance, and it's one of the best parts about Fallout 3, however, we're not a bad character, so I didn't do it that way. Uh, anyways... Now is not the best time. Perhaps we could parlay sometime later? Thank you. No, now it's gonna have to do... How did you get past the guard? What do you want? Okay, do you remember a Mr. Crowley? The ghoul? He's dead. Died 20 years ago. Good riddance, too. I hate those shufflers. So this guy does seem to be prejudiced against ghouls. Um, Mr. Crowley is alive. I'm here to kill you because you hate ghouls. How did he die? I'm going to put a bullet in your brain, you ghoul-hating piece of shit. Or you've satisfied my curiosity. Let's go with... Mr. Crowley is alive. I'm here to kill you because you hate ghouls. He's alive? I should have known... It's hard to kill those zombies. You've got to shoot them in the head. That's the name of the quest. Whatever he's paying you, I'll double it. Okay, speech 75%. I want more than that to spare your miserable life. 300 caps. 200 caps to spare your life. Okay, I think it would be better for everyone if I just killed you. And it probably would, but we are a good character. So, let's try the speech challenge. You mercenaries are so reliably predictable. 100 now, 200 when the job is done. Oh, oh, okay. Optional kill Mr. Crowley. Right, so he's actually paying us twice as much to kill Mr. Crowley instead. Which is sort of interesting. I already know how this quest plays out, so I'm just trying to think what would be the best thing to do. Let's see if we can get a key from Alistair. I haven't heard anything about Mr. Crowley recently, so what could you possibly want? Because we're going to need his key anyways. Um, Mr. Crowley wants that key now. What key? Oh that key you're a moron i don't have any of his precious keys idiot idiot okay uh quite a tower you have here i don't think that's gonna matter tell me about yourself mr P uh tenpenny don't think that's gonna matter uh do you remember mr crowley how did he die who cares i hired some mercenaries to get me some equipment from fort constantine he was one of them of the five, only three survived. You'll have to ask one of them if you want the gory details. 
Okay, out of all of them, only three survived. That would probably be Ted Strayer's father, uh, Dukov, and Mr. Crowley. So this is the guy that constructed everything, Alistair Tenpenny. Uh, have you satisfied my curiosity? Okay, so I don't think this guy has a key, now that I remember. Um, oh, and Dave. I completely forgot about Dave. Yeah, so this guy was the ringleader. So I, I believe he doesn't have a key. Um, so let's see. Optional kill Mr. Crowley. Uh, kill Dave. Yeah, so we don't have an objective to get uh, Ten Penny's key. So he must not have one. Okay, so let's finish this off by finding Dave. We're going to hold off on killing... Um, What's his face? Ten Penny for now, or Mr. Crowley for? Oh wait, wait, wait! No, who are we? We're not killing. We're gonna try to avoid killing anybody. Basically, is what I'm saying. And while this loading screen is going on, um, I just wanted to mention there's a rumor going around that Fallout Fallout 4 might take place in Boston, which would be cool. Someone tweeted this about. Uh, someone. I can't talk at all. Someone tweeted about that to me, and uh, yeah, I heard about that too. Yeah, apparently Fallout 4 might take place in Boston, which is going to be really cool because that's where the Commonwealth is, and we did that quest with uh, Harkness and the androids and all that sort of stuff, and if you remember George Zimmer, <laughs> George Zimmerman, um, the dude, Mr. Zimmer, I think his name was Hans Zimmer, yeah, he was talking about how he was from the Commonwealth where all that technology is, so that would be really cool, especially with like the Skyrim engine or an updated version. Uh, either way, we're heading to the Republic of Dave right now, which should sound interesting to you, and it is interesting. Um, so we'll head over there, and uh, I'll meet you guys there. Goodbye. Got to get away. They're burning everything. Okay, so I was actually just going to resume recording here uh, because we're about to hit the Republic of Dave, and then this dude talked to me. I, this is probably a random encounter. Just to recap what happened on my way over here, uh, I fought one Yao Guai. He wasn't too difficult. Then I found my way over to where a whole bunch of Death Claws were. Luckily, only one found me. I was able to kill it. And then we just passed... A, uh, a like field of Brahmin, but this dude Wastelander's talking to me and he said something about burning calm down Let me try and help you who's burning what shut up and make some sense calm down. Let me try and help you. They're all they're all dead Burned gray ditch right to the ground those things they came out of nowhere. You gotta run run Okay, so I actually know what he's talking about but for spoilers sake I won't talk about it. We'll just take that like uh, we never heard about it in our life something is going on in gray ditch things uh, are attacking it or something? Weird. I have no clue what that could be. Alright, so... Uh, the Republic of Dave should be, like, right over this hill. I don't know if you guys can make out. There's, like, a little roof over there. And there's actually, like, a really cool thing with this place. Um, including a unique weapon. So I think we'll do everything that we can do in the Republic of Dave. As you can see right now, the Republic of Dave is, uh, not all that big. <laughs> so, I don't know if Republic would be the white, the, uh, the right word. Okay, but there we go. We've discovered the Republic of Dave, and there seems to be a little kid out front. So yeah, we need to uh, kill this guy and take his key or find a better way to do that. But let's go ahead and walk up. Hey, who are you? What do you want from the Republic of Dave? I'm not here to hurt anyone. What is this place? Your Republic is forfeit. Prepare to be reclaimed by the Wasteland. I'm just a wanderer. I'll be going now. I'm not here to hurt anyone. What is this place? This is the Republic of Dave, duh. It's named for President Daddy. But you have to talk to him if you want to stay here. I think I'd like to meet Dave. Okay, I'll take you. But President Daddy doesn't always like new people. Okay, this way. Alright, can I just walk in? Alright, that's cool. Okay, so this is the illustrious Republic of Dave. As you can see, it's in, it's in great condition. Um, and that's all sarcasm, because it looks like a pile of shit. I believe he's going to lead me... I don't even think we need to follow this kid. We're just going to go ahead and walk... Oh yeah, they refer to you as a foreigner, it's funny, even though this is like a little tiny town. Okay, Door to the Republic of Dave Capitol Building, and what a grand capital building indeed. Let's see if we can't find this Dave and get him to give us his key. Okay, Dave, where are you at, sir? Are you up here? Hi there, honey. Uh, that's Rosie. Not yet, I'm looking for him though, I'm guessing he's in here. Man. There's a Nuka-Cola Quantum right there. No, but it's going to be mine at some point. We have hey. someone new in my Republic. Here's Dave. I am Dave, President of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President or I will have you executed. That's not cool. Now, are you applying for a citizenship, asylum, or just vacationing in the Republic of Dave? 
Let's see, speech 56%, most most exalted present day if I am an ambassador from the wasteland. I'm seeking asylum, I seek citizenship, I'm just a traveler. If you'll excuse me for a moment, I'll be right back. Let's try the speech challenge. You are? Excellent. It's good to see that the wasteland has finally recognized the sovereign republic of Dave. If the people of the wasteland are generous and respectful, I might deign to annex them. So you can probably see what's going on here. This guy is uh, has delusions of grandeur, and he's uh, he seems to think that he's a lot more important than he actually is. Anything happening in this place, Mr. President? There is something, but we'll get to that later. Mr. President, do you know a ghoul named Mr. Crowley? Your republic is forfeit. Prepare to be reclaimed by the wasteland, and if you do that, probably everybody goes hostile and tries to kill you. I have to go now. Let's go with Mr. President. Do you know a ghoul named Mr. Crowley? There's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Before the people elected me president, I worked with a mercenary named Mr. Crowley. We were part of an expedition to Fort Constantine. Okay, speech 100%. What happened in Fort, Mr. President? Uh, speech 100%. Crowley is live, Mr. President. I'm supposed to bring back proof of your death. Let's go with the first one. Two of us died, including Crowley. The rest achieved the mission goals and were paid. Okay, so everyone seems to think that Mr. Crowley is dead when in fact he's not. Crowley is alive, Mr. President. I'm supposed to bring back proof of your death. Alive? I always wondered. He was locked in with a bunch of feral ghouls. They won't attack ghouls, you see. Would you consider taking him a personal item, like this key, and just telling him you killed me? Mr. President, what's so special about this key? A gift of this key would be a strategic diplomatic move, Mr. President. I always love the dialogue when it comes to you, uh, Dave. Uh, let's go with Mr. President, what's so special about this key? You need all the keys to get through Fort Constantine. With only one key, there's no point in my going back. Ah, so the truth has been revealed. We need all of these keys to get into Fort Constantine. And what lies in Fort Constantine? Well, it's actually not a part of this quest. It's its own separate thing. And it's actually a really, really unique, interesting thing, which we will get to at some point in this Let's Play, probably right after this quest. But anyways, a gift of this key would be a strategic diplomatic move, Mr. President. Hmm. Of course it would. I knew that. I was just testing you to see if you would realize it. Right, you are so smart. Here, take the key. It is a gift from the Republic of Dave to the Wasteland. Okay, so anything happening in this place, your Republic is forfeit. I have to go now. So we have all the keys now. We just need to go talk to Mr. Crowley. But before we do that, let's go ahead and finish up all this business in the Republic of Dave. So let's ask him about anything happening in this place, Mr. President. There's an election for the next president. Don't look so surprised. Can't you see this is a Republic? Okay, I'd say it looks more like a dictatorship, though. Dictatorship? You insult me. Obviously, the wasteland radiation has taken away your capacity to reason. Okay, tell me more about the Republic. I'd like to discuss the election with you. Your Republic is forfeit. I'd like to discuss the election with you. The election is still going on. What do you want to know? Who's eligible to vote? That would be Bob, Shauna, Jessica, Rosie, and myself. In the Republic, if you're old enough to carry a weapon, you're old enough to vote. Rosie and Jessica are usually here in the capital. Bob usually hangs out outside near the Brahmin pen. Shauna runs the Museum of Dave, so you can find her there. Alright, so rather than go through this whole process, it's kind of like glitchy and it's never really worked for me. I'll just tell you guys what happens. Basically, you can um, change the outcome of the election. Basically, what happens is if everything goes as planned and if you talk to everybody, Dave will win the election. There is a ballot box somewhere. Goodbye, sir. I'm done with this for now. Um, there is a ballot box somewhere. It's probably in here or something. I don't know. But basically what you can do is when Dave goes to unlock... Oh, this is probably... Yeah, that's the ballot box. There we go. Requires key. So basically what happens is you talk to everybody. You can convince them to like give you slips for themselves or something. Um, and basically what you need to do is Dave needs to go over to the ballot box, unlock it, and you need to like be in sneak and activate it. You know what, why don't we just do it? Because I've never, I don't think I've ever even done this. Basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to get into this safe, which we do have the key for. Um, okay, so let's go talk to Rosie. I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. Well, welcome stranger. Just be mindful of the children. Right, okay, let's see. I'd like to discuss the election with you. Election time. Uh-huh. Who's running in this election? Only Dave. He's the only person who ever runs. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? I'd like to throw my hat into the ring and run for the presidency. Um, I don't 
don't think you can do that. You'd better ask Dave. Okay, have you considered running for the presidency? Believe it or not, I used to lead a group bigger than this one on an old caravan route. I did it for years, and we did pretty well for ourselves. But what am I talking about? Running against Dave would be like betraying him. I just noticed, by the way, this is the same voice actress as Moyer Brown. Uh, you could lead the Republic into a new era, the democracy of Rosie. Please pass. You're right. Dave's just been pushing me around. It's time for a change. Okay, cool. Uh, you should go vote if you haven't already. You're right. I'll go right now. Okay, and now th this always confuses me, so I ho hopefully I'm doing this right. But okay, so what sh she should be doing right now is placing her own name in the box. Fingers crossed. Okay. All right, good. And now what we need to have done is get Dave to go open the box, count the ballots, and as soon as he unlocks it... Don't get any ideas. Yeah, exactly. It's locked for a reason. Once he unlocks it, we need to quickly open it, take out all the ballots other than Rosie, and that way Rosie will be the new person uh, in charge. So let's see if we can get him to count. I don't know if we need to talk every ah, to everybody first. The keeper of the key. Yeah. Do you need more than that gift? No. Um. Let's see. Did you already vote, Mr. President? Of course I voted. I was the first to vote. Now I'm just waiting for the rest of the votes to come in. Okay, so... Alright, so I guess we just need to convince everybody to vote then, and then that's when we can do it. So, is this Rosie? Yeah, Jessica. Dave says you're okay? Fine. Yeah, um, I'd like to discuss the election. Have you considered running? No way. You'd have to be crazy to run against him. Okay, I'd like to throw my hat in. Um, did Dave say... Actually, yeah, so let's go see if we can put our own name in. I don't, I don't think we can become the leader of the Republic of Day, but let's just see. Out with it, Ambassador. Um, I'd like to discuss the election. Could I help with the election, Mr. President? All right, sure, why not? The people have a tendency to wait until the last minute to vote, but I'd like just to get it over with. I'll spare a few caps if you just tell each of the adults to get over to the voting booth sometime today so I cinch the victory. Not that I have anything to worry about. The people know who their leader is in this republic. Yeah, so I believe he gives you like 25 caps for each person you, cons uh, you convince to go vote. So we lost out on a little bit of caps, but that's no big deal. Um, looks like you might have an opponent in the race. I'd like to throw my hat into the ring and run for presidency. I'm sorry, but the president must be a citizen of the republic to run for office, so you do not qualify. Yeah, like I figured, uh, we can't become the leader of the Republic of Dave. Okay, so I do have some idea what we need to do now, and we can actually, I, I don't think I mentioned this, we can actually open the safe right now, which does have a unique weapon, but we will wait and try, do it, and, try and do it the cool way. So we convinced Jessica, oh, we didn't convince Jessica. Uh, we just talked to her. Where'd Jessica go? Did she leave? Jessica, there you are. Dave says you're okay? Yeah. Um, you should go vote if you haven't already. I guess you're right. I'll go right now. Okay, so she's gonna go vote, and that should be three votes for Dave and one vote for Rosie, right, so far? Um, this is an unmarked quest, by the way, if you didn't realize. So, yeah, there's no quest journal telling us who we need to talk to, so we have to be a little bit more careful here. Where does this lead? The Museum of Dave. Let's head inside. I, oh, I think there's also a, a bobblehead in the Republic of Dave. And it's probably in here, I think. Yep, there it is. Perception. You found a Vault-Tec limited edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, Only through observation will you perceive weakness. Your perception has been permanently increased by one. Awesome. So this is the school, it looks like. And a museum. Shauna. So, Dave gave you the okay, huh? Well, welcome then. I run the Museum of Dave where the children of the Republic can learn about their heritage. I bet there's some excellent schooling going on here. You should go vote if you actually know. I'd like to discuss the election. Have you considered running? Absolutely not. In fact, I'd vote for Dave twice if I could. Okay, um... Duh, duh, duh. Okay, you should go vote then. Oh no. Dave sent you to tell me that, didn't he? I'll go right away, I promise. Like in the stories about Alrighty, so that takes care of her, and I think we have at least one more. I know there's a dude somewhere that we need to convince. Let's just make sure we see everybody. Little kids can't vote. Where does this lead? The men's quarters, and it's we're not allowed to go in there for some reason. Hey there. there you are. 
Come on, make it fast. I got chores. Okay. I'd like to discuss the election. Have you considered running? Man, I'd love to be the president. Everybody would have to listen to me or I could just exile them to the wasteland. And the first thing I'd do is make myself the permanent leader so they couldn't vote me out in some other election. But there's no need for me to run. One year, Dave is just going to make me the leader, just like my grandpa Tom did for him. Speech 37, Dave is corrupt. The Republic needs a new champion of freedom. I don't think it's going to pass, but let's try it. No. I'm not stupid. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can do that again. No, we can't. Okay, well, you should go vote then. Fine. I'll get out of the way. Yeah. All right, so that should be everybody, I think. Um, I'm not sure who's in the men's quarters. And what building is this? The women's quarters. Okay, I think that's actually everybody, though. So before we end this episode, I want to see how this plays out. So there goes Shauna. There goes Bob. Let's actually wait two hours. It's going to take them two hours to vote. Hopefully, they'll be inside by that time. Yeah, so I think the voting might be done now. Hopefully, this works, because I've never done this, and apparently, it's glitchy, uh -huh. too. So. Hey, I suppose we are voting no, 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 no. Man, the Brahmin smell awful today. Oh, okay, they didn't... Oh, good, 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 reason, yeah, okay. So, now, what we need to do is we need to save the game. And, hopefully, now, Dave will go count the ballots. Yes? What can... Um, I'd like to discuss the election. Looks like all the votes are in, Mr. President. Good. The votes are in. If you'll excuse me, I'll be getting started on tallying the numbers. Oh yes, I almost forgot. Here's your caps. Keep this up, and I may deign to make you a citizen in a few years. Yeah, for some reason I don't think I'll be sticking around here for a few years. Okay, now we're gonna get into position right here. We are hidden, we do have our sneak suit. So we're completely invisible and we look pretty stylish at the same time. And now basically we just need to like hover over this until he opens it and quickly steal it. Let's see what we have here. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Vote. Okay. So good. Ugh, I'm so excited because I've never done this before. Four votes for Dave. One vote for Rosie. We're going to take all the votes for Dave and now there's only one vote for Rosie. A vote for me. And another vote for me. No, no, no. A vote for Rosie. Wait a minute. Has somebody tampered with the ballot box? No. Hmm. Out of my way. After counting the votes, the way. president is... Shut up. Rosie! Yes! Rosie can't be president. No. This is unfair. This can't be. Fine. I'm leaving. See how you people do without me. Enjoy your new president. Oh, yes, it worked. Okay, so Dave is going to exile himself from... The Republic of Dave. I guess it's the Republic of Rosie now. So let's talk to the new president, which is Rosie. Yeah. Well now, who could have ever thought? Me, president! Huh, things are really going to be different around here. Listen, I can't thank you enough. You convinced me that I could do this, and you were right. I want you to have something. Dave kept some big weapon or something locked up in the safe in his office. The code is 1138. It's yours if you want it. We don't need it anymore. Okay, so basically what happens is if you if, if you can't get the key from Dave or if you haven't started the you gotta shoot him in the head quest, you can do this to get access to his safe. So let's go into sneak mode and open it now and we will find a couple of bottle caps, a seam gauge assembly, oh see, I pronounce it gauge but it's gauge, um, an old painless which is a unique rifle, I think it might be a hunting rifle, lost karma because we stole but that's totally fine and also a new Coca-Cola quantum which we're going to take. I don't care about that, it's only like a little tiny bit of uh, lost karma. Okay, so that's that's actually really cool. I have never done that in the history of Fallout 3. So we have taken out Dave and established Rosie as the leader of the Republic of Dave. I guess you can make Bob the leader too, but that's probably the bad... What is this guy doing over here? Good to see you. What are you doing, Bob? I don't know what that guy's doing. Let's take a look at Old Painless before we end this episode. Oh, before we take a look at Old Painless though. Basically what happens to Dave now is he goes to Old Olney, which I believe is where we passed when I was talking about the uh, the Death Claws. It's infested with Death Claws. There he goes. He's walking there right now. Basically what happens is he goes there. The Death Claws will probably kill him. If you follow him and clear out all the Death Claws and the things that would normally kill him, you can find him like sitting in an alley and he says, this is the new Republic of Dave. Go away all by himself. 
himself. If you talk to him three times, he'll attack you, and basically you have to kill him. So that's what happens to old Dave. See you later, my friend. Now let's take a look at uh, old Painless to end this episode here. Okay, old painless, and it's the same thing, yes, as the hunting rifle. So the regular hunting rifle has 24 damage, old painless has 26 damage, and there might be some little thing with it that makes it a little bit better too. But uh, let's replace our normal hunting rifle with old painless, and uh, let's take a look at it. It should look exactly the same. Let's just fire it. Wow, firing it just froze my game. Awesome. Well, I, don't, I guess there's no better place to end this episode here then. Um, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. We'll continue this tomorrow, and I'll see you then. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please remember to like and share the video wherever you can. It really helps me out. If you have a question or a suggestion, Twitter is the best way to get in touch with me, and if you would like to subscribe or watch another video that's going to be related to this one, you can click the annotations on the screen. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.